Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook and wanted to know how you could draw this track. I'm not going to draw this exact track. I'm going to draw something pretty close. Let me just go ahead and delete this one. I am going to take a half inch circle, holding down the control button and make it 0.5 big. Now you can make this as big as you want it to, but then I'm going to hit plus on the keyboard. I'm going to move this one down here, plus on the keyboard, move this one over here, plus on the keyboard and move it over here, plus on the keyboard, holding down the control button. So it's even with that one, grab both those and hit T like in Tom. Then take your two point line and go from that edge to the tangent. That way it won't be in the way. We're going to go from an edge to an edge on this one, go from an edge to a tangent on this one. It just happened to, so we're going to go from the quadrant to the quadrant, quadrant to the quadrant. So there's our track. So now what I can do is take our virtual segment delete key and delete these circles. I'm not exactly happy with these corners. Uh, let me back up here. I don't like the way that came out. Um, two point line. That might be a little bit far, far stretched because we're eating into that one. We need to make sure we go to the tangent. And on this one, we can take the shape tool just kind of make it flow a little better maybe. Go from that edge to that edge, looks good. From that quadrant to that quadrant, from that quadrant to that quadrant. You won't really know till you cut it off what it's gonna look like. That looks a lot better. Now, these are a bunch of lines, so I'm gonna take my Smart Fill tool and fill that in, and I'm gonna nudge it over I can get rid of this now. I'm going to left click, right click, and make sure it's a hairline, which it is. Now I'm going to take the contour tool, go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour the inside 0.15. I'm going to go and break the contour apart. I'm going to grab the outside, and now I'm going to contour the outside 0.15. And if you were doing this for real, you'd want to measure out your track and make it to scale. Select it all, go up to object and break the three objects apart. Now grab that inner line and that's, that's actually going to be our track. So what we want to do now is make a, a two point line. Make sure it goes all the way. We're going to draw a ellipse starting from the center and holding down the shift button and the control button to make it round. That's right in the center. Start moving and hold down the control button. We want them all in the center. Take a rectangle and draw it like that. Now you really want these two in the center, so what we're gonna do is go C, E. Didn't really have to do the last part, but if we hold down the control button, we'll move that. So that's our puzzle piece. And you could play with that. There's plenty of uh, videos on how to make a puzzle. But then we need to take this and combine it. And what's going to happen is going to disappear sometimes, but it worked. So now this is all one line. So we can move this up. We haven't moved these two. They're perfect. A line. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to take these two and I'm going to go to effects and blend and I'm going to blend them six times. And then I'm going to go to here, blend along new path, put it on our path, blend along full path and rotate all objects. There's our joints. Now I'm going to select it, go up to object, break the blend apart. We can now nudge that out of the way and nudge these over and there's our puzzle pieces. Now you need to go around and make sure they fit because sometimes they 
when they're at an ang angle like that one right there is not going to fit. So what you could do, you could redo it or you could grab your line, double click on the center rotation and put it to that edge and rotate it till it meets that spot. If it still doesn't meet, take the shape tool. Okay, we're gonna have to ungroup everything. You know what? I didn't have one group, so they all moved. That's part of the blend part. And this, you know, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna probably just make that go past. And you'd want it maybe on a better join and maybe move it like right here. So let's just do that. We can, we can gr come from the outside in. We gotta have it all. And we're going to rotate that guy. And you could play around with the blends. Uh, this is half one way or a different way. And just make sure it's to the edge. It doesn't really matter if it's in the center because that piece is going to be individual. You know, it's going to be unique. They're going to fit together. Take that away. I think that's about the only one that's like that. I would test them all. And the way you can do that is take the rectangle tool, put a rectangle around it, and use the smart fill tool. And see, we got a leak right there. So this one right here, as you can see now, it's like the other one. We can take the shape tool and just expand these out. And like I said, that piece is unique to the other pieces. Take the smart fill tool, fill that in, fill that in, fill that in. We have one more leak. So we only have one more leak. We don't really know about that other one until we test it. Okay, we got one leak and it's this one right here. And it, it's kind of funny looking, it's at an angle. And you can see how it's long there, so it's gonna be short here. So we can just take the, and it doesn't really matter if it's long because it's gonna cut the wood anyway. But this way, that's how you found it would be to test I'm going to go ahead and cut it, even though when you're cutting it, you know, that's just going to go a little bit past. So now we're going to try it. There you go. No leaks. So what we can do is take away our rectangle and just delete these smart fields. And at this time, you really wanted to draw it to scale. You know, I don't know how, you know, this thing is a little bitty. So if we grab it all and make it, you know, with the rate ratio locked, if you're going to make it 24 inches, um, everything, everything because it's a hairline, everything will be equal. Now you could have, you know, there's a lot you could do. You could, uh, you know, like this piece is, uh, you could number them, you know, one, two, three, four, and put them all on the outside, so you know what pieces fit together. Or it might be a little bit like a puzzle for the young child to put it together. And if I was gonna do that, I'd make this joint a little bit stronger. And uh, I might make a second video on this on how to make that joint stronger. But any puzzle piece would work. And then also you could, I could have kept that center line and you could uh, engrave it and it'd be like half the track. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.